Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob, and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And yes, it's a partial sparkling day here in Central Oregon, because it's still smoky. So, uh, ooh, look at the tomatoes. Oh my goodness, them are purdy. <laughs> yes sir, Bob. So, uh, let's get our little snack and uh, we can go check uh, all the systems in the back. Oh yeah. So today is a little bit of cooking day. Uh, Sherry's uh, doing 48 uh, eggs for the uh, freeze dryer. She's also drying up <coughs> um, milk. <laughs> We're doing milk. And uh, so she's doing a gallon of milk in the freeze dryer. Then she's gonna do eggs, 48 of them. And then, uh, uh, today we're making some pico de gallo. Hope I said that right. Anyway, because we got lots of tomatoes to use up and we got walla walla onions and we got some of our own peppers. And uh, plus it's just yummy. So uh, I'm out here in the garden right now. Got to check all the tanks. And I think I'll probably have to do the tank in the greenhouse. But we'll check everything else. Today with the uh, corn, since yesterday we fertilized it with a uh, fish fertilizer, uh, I'm just going to run some water on it today. Well, we got one of the uh, NFT tanks outside filled up, filling up uh, the tank in the uh, Dutch bucket system. I just added 15 gallons worth, holds 38. I had to put a little water in the uh, swamp cooler, checking around, everything's looking pretty good in the uh, floating rafts. Got a couple of tomatoes I need to harvest today. And uh, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Even my little scruffy plants here looks like they're gonna make it. But uh, yeah, I think I'll get about three, four, five, six, maybe five tomatoes today. But uh, everything's still looking healthy. That's a good thing. All right, guys, got some of my side plants all watered. And uh, now it's time to go check our strawberry towers. See lots of strawberries up there. But uh, really what I gotta do is check the tank. Looks like the tank just ran. I got some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful strawberries. Lots of them. So what we need to do is go over here. Come on dogs. I don't know, they're on a hunt for strawberries. And uh, let's see what we got here in this tank over here. It's got a little bit left. I think I'm gonna have to refill it today. Uh, just ran, cause I can tell, cause it's kind of dripping. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll add to it later today. And uh, also that gives me a chance to water the little blueberry plants and the little raspberry plants, which didn't do anything this year, which I wasn't expecting. But yeah, gosh, it's still so smoky. Oh well. I'm gonna have to go see what Sherry's making. Yeah, I know it's a little dark in here, but this is our garage. So this is where we keep the freeze dryer. So Sherry's got quite the protection going on here. So right now she's freeze drying milk. And uh, as soon as this is done, she'll uh, open that up, turn it into powder, and store it. Then in our freezer here is where she keeps uh, different trays. Uh, different trays of uh, right now she's doing uh, eggs and eventually she'll have four trays of eggs in here ready to load into the uh, freeze dryer over here and just keep the production going. So uh, now you can put stuff directly into the freeze dryer and freeze it in there. But if you want to kind of speed the process up a little bit, you can pre-freeze your trays. So we bought extra trays. And so uh, while that's running, the other ones are freezing, which means the cycle will be a little shorter since we don't have to do freeze mode. So uh, yeah, anyway, going good. And uh, now we got to work on our pico de gallo. Yum. Well guys, we don't have much of a harvest of tomatoes today. 
Uh, just a couple more ripening. So, but that's okay. And, uh, what? but jalapenos. we got to get some jalapenos. And we did uh, gather eggs today. Here's our eggs. So we got tons of eggs. So yeah, we're not starving. And uh, we're gonna take a good look at the corn today, see if we can harvest a couple more. So uh, having the second set of eyes would be helpful. So uh, we did go through the corn a little bit. We found a few little, little like I said, all my ears are small, but we found a little bit that uh, I think is edible. Like I said, we're not making a kill in here, but and then Sherry picked up some jalapenos. Got yeah, lots of jalapenos. But uh, we get a C plus for our corn this year. But we got some corn. So uh, hopefully we got a little snack. We'll see. Well guys, this is our cooking phase here. Sherry's been uh, cutting up some jalapenos. Some peppers. We got a few more to do. She's making our pico de gallo. Is that right? So... Uh, we're just making a small bowl. She's uh, taking fresh tomatoes and onions and cilantro, salt and, cilantro and it's just plain old good stuff. And uh, she also got some more eggs into the refrigerator since I, a uh, freezer since I showed you. And uh, so yeah, it's kind of been a cooking day. So the last dilemma we got here is we have a lot of extra tomatoes here. And uh, we're just gonna juice them up. And so Sherry's got this new, I don't know, it's a juicer, and uh, it works really well, and uh, so we really like it. We picked it up at Bymart. Uh, I'll take a look. Uh, if I see it on Amazon, I'll put a link to it, but it's worked out to be a really good tool, and uh, she just, uh, you don't have to peel the tomatoes or anything, so uh, basically she's just going to put them in. We'll let you see it here once she gets going. What it looks like when she's using it. So when she does use this thing, she puts two shallow dish. Well, uses shallow dishes like this uh, to catch the remnants. And uh, so, yeah, it's a pretty cool tool. Uh, she puts two low, low bowls in here. This one's to catch the remnants, <coughs> and the other one's to catch the juice. And occasionally it does leak a little bit, so she puts a little bit of a paper towel on the floor just in case. So here we go. Guys, if you're wondering, that's our dogs playing in the background. Well, after all those tomatoes I showed you, it made uh, actually quite a bit of juice. So we're just gonna freeze that and uh, use it for other projects in the future. And uh, yeah, a very impressive little tool. Well, one thing today, Sherry and I have definitely made lots of compost. So we'll be adding it to this. And uh, yeah, that's a good thing. You can always tell how busy we are in the kitchen by 
seeing what's left over for the compost. Uh, yeah, our compost is going to be the best compost ever. So uh, I do have another project to do today. I've got to fill one more tank uh, for the strawberry towers. I can't remember what tank I'm going to do. And then my day will be done. And uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> Been a busy day. So uh, we're going to wrap it up here. So guys, i uh, got to take this back to the garbage. And uh, have a great day. Uh, please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over. We'd really appreciate that. And uh, be safe. And please take the time in the comments to say hello. So guys, have a great day. And we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.